Hello, 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 internet. I'm Swordmaster, and welcome back. Different position, same bus, which relates into today's topic. In a recent interview with Tetsuya Nomura, it's been shown that the worlds that are returning to Kingdom Hearts 3 that have been in the previous two games are going to be, again, the same worlds, but different maps. So that means all you people who are with me that memorized the entirety of Twilight Town, we're out of luck. Because they're changing the map around, they're changing on the format, which means we got to see new places, new perspectives, which is exciting because we got to explore more. But again, my entirety of memorizing the map of Twilight Town has just gone to waste. Oh well. And still, this opens up a lot more possibilities for the Olympus Coliseum and for Twilight Town. What I'm thinking of for the Olympus Coliseum is, think about it, we've been to the Coliseum. We've been to the underworld, but we haven't been to the town Thebes, which in a lot of the movie takes place. And for the bigger scale that this game is going to have, I think that'd be a lot of fun to go in and to explore. I mean, think about it. We could fight that giant Cyclops thing. We could find the other Titans. I mean, it's already been hinted at a little bit, but we don't know too much for now. And again, I wouldn't really trust it until they release a demo. But that's just judging with what has been in the past, because these games have gone through a lot of changes and remakes, so I don't want to hold your breath until we get a solid demo. But still, this opens up a lot more possibilities, and I'm excited to see where it leads. Who knows where it could lead with Twilight Town? Are we going to see what's even deeper into those woods? Is there something up there that we don't know about? Hmm. I don't know, but I'm just happy to see my favorite hub world return. You know, besides Traverse Town. Because it reminds me of Disneyland. And who, what self-respecting Disney fan doesn't like Disneyland? <laughs> Except I jumped off the ma mouse's bandwagon a while ago. Some of us just, just don't want to spend money on a bunch of Disney products and don't want to pay up a fine to join the fan club. Sorry, that's not how fandoms are supposed to work. Anyway, that's beside the point because, hey, this also has a lot of potential. And... I gotta admit, I'm also hoping for a Final Fantasy world. Think about it, we could go to, I don't know, like Midgar, even though Hollow Bastion and or Radiant Guard, depending on how far you got with that story arc, could be a possible, op was a possible thing with that, but think about it, we have a whole ton of Final Fantasy worlds. Wouldn't it be fun if we got to explore like, okay bear with me, Cocoon for a little bit? I mean, even if Final Fantasy 13 wasn't the best example of gameplay within that the entire franchise, it was still pretty. I mean, you gotta admit, those visuals made it sweet eye candy to stare at. So, you know, even if it wasn't that fun, it would still be great to explore. And hey, we got Big Hero 6 to look forward to. And for all you haters that are just saying, oh no, I don't want to see Frozen as a world there, think about it. We have a villain who has the ability to turn Disney characters evil. I want my ability to sing Do You Want to Kill My Sister with Anna. Alright? I know it would be extremely inappropriate for some people, but come on, do you want to kill my It'd be funny. Okay? I don't know, that's just me being weird. And again, for all we know, they're going to add in Star Wars and the Marvel franchise. We're finally going to get Darth Vader versus Captain America like we all wanted. And of course, the robot dinosaurs will come out on top, because that's just how life is. I don't know. So tell me what you think about that and where we'd, you'd like to explore with these different worlds. Because again, the old worlds that are coming back, new maps, new different possibilities, a whole new world. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Just a little sore throat. <laughs> anyway, so tell me what you think below. Let's get the discussion going and let's keep the high train chugging. Anyway, have a beautiful day, my duckies. Swordmaster, signing out.